Welcome back. Now that we're done with our watercolor washes, we're going to use an ultra fine point Sharpie to kind of do the details um, of the wings and some stuff on the body as well. If you kind of look at my example here now, you'll see that the salt left the little white circles and kind of um, striations, sort of, so to speak, here on my wings um, and also here in the background. And you'll see that it leaves, even right here, where the salt um, was very, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the little teeny speckles there where I brushed it off, it actually left little white dots. Um, and there's some over here too on this side where there's little white dots there. Um, so that gives your painting a much more textured look and much more interesting than just a flat background. So with our Sharpie, we're going to make the delicate wings of the dragonfly. Remember, things we talked about was that um, the reason why dragonflies and butterflies are so popular is number one, they're really colorful, and number two, the difference between um, the insect, the kind of gross insect part, and the delicateness of how they fly and how they move their body and the transparent nature of their wings. So you're going to use a Sharpie, an uh, ultra fine point Sharpie, and you want to kind of um, make some flowing, very light lines. You don't want to push down super hard. Um, you want to make your lines light and airy. So I'm going to start by making a circle right here, and I'm going to make it off center like that. And notice how I didn't finish the circle all the way. Then I'm going to make another circle that's again off center like that and then another one that's off center here now we looked at a bunch of dragonflies and no dragonflies have circles on their wings like that but i chose to do that because it'll kind of keep um keep the idea of symmetry and it will also give us something to fill in now i'm going to take my um sharpie and kind of make some little lines almost like spider web lines and you want them to be thin and wispy um to kind of give that transparent feel you don't want them to be thick and heavy. That's why we're using an ultra fine point Sharpie. Um, also, you want to make sure that they look natural, that they are not a like human made pattern, okay? You don't want them to follow a program of a pattern. You want them to be natural and not patterned. Okay, so when you put them on, make sure that you don't organize them so much like a pattern and have them all kind of going exactly the same. So you want to s create repetition, but not pattern, okay? So there's my two circles, and I'm going to work in on the wings here. I'm going to make a first line that kind of swoops around and then goes straight through here, but overlaps behind there. Then I'm going to just kind of keep following the curve of that line, okay? And everyone's curve might be different and that's okay we want everyone's drawing to look a little different okay and it'll lend a little um, interest that everyone's is a little bit different then I'm gonna take one line and go all the way around and run it right back into my first line like that okay and then I'm gonna curve a little shape up here to fill that in okay so there's my first um, lines. Then I'm going to again take that kind of spider web feel and just put some little lines in between. Notice that I don't finish the lines, I don't make the lines connect um, and I try to stay away from it being a pattern. I want them to look natural and not patterny. So make sure that when you do that they really look wispy and spider webby. So there you can kind of see how that one looks. All right, now I'm going to continue on this side and do the same kind of curvy thing. Now, do your curves have to be symmetrical? Um, they'll look better if they are, um, but they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical because um, the wings are sometimes symmetrical and sometimes not. All right, so here I'm going to kind of connect it all together, just like I did with my other one. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the, the bottom wing and I'm just going to create one, two little circles and create some of the same kind of wispy patterny repetition but make sure that it is not so much of a pattern that it's natural kind of looking lines so like a spider web 
And right before we do this part, we'll look at the PowerPoint and look at some of those photographs of the wings. Then I'm going to move on to the eyes, and I'm just going to kind of make these little half circles, and then again put in some lines for the eyes there, and do the same thing on this side for the lines. Then on the body, we noticed that on quite a few of our um, dragonflies, they had different um, markings on their bodies. So I'm just going to make some kind of diagonal lines, almost like turning these into long ovals that will create like the look of a di diagonal um, line, but they're actually shapes. All right, just like that. Now that that's done, we're going to move on to um, a little bit of watercolor which we'll do some dry on dry, and then we'll talk about some chalk pastels in our next video. And that concludes how to do the Sharpie for the wings and the body of your dragonfly.